Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I'm going to share with you how to make this cute little notebook. This one, it's a to-do uh, list. Do it now or do it later. Or also you can use just a plain, uh, you can buy them you know those notepads see it's the same size so if you don't like the to do <laughs> then you can use a plain one many people are going to ask me where I get those notepads they add staples so let me share with you how to do this and the designer zero paper it share what you love the stamp set for just a note it's the one on page 8 that it's the soft saying and this just a note I use it like I eat candy, put it that way. So first thing we want to do is I'm going to bring my uh, Simply Score here. I think I get in, okay, here we go. And you want to score, um, first of all, it's this, it's 10 and 3 quarter by 8 and a quarter. You're going to score at 5 and a quarter and 5 and a half. That is it. Now, I like to round my corner. I don't like the square corner. Forget that punch. Let me grab the punch. Then you get, this is the detail trio uh, punch right here. So you want to make sure that you go very square. You get like the slot right there. Punch. So we're going to do four sides. Here we go. Et voila. Now we're going to reinforce our score line, and that's very important. And I should have said, usually you want to score on the side that go inside, and that's going to help the score not to crack. So, um, see it crack there. Perfect example. So, not to crack. And what you would have done, let's see, this is the side that you want on the outside. You would have scored on this side, and that would not crack. So remember that. So let me remove that. And that is okay because I'm going to put a binder there. So I won't worry about it. But remember, anytime you score on, especially thick cardstock, this is designer series paper, but it's very thick. So you want to score the side that go in so the outside gonna go down put it that way now we need a piece of whisper white cardstock that measure eight and a quarter by two and a quarter you're gonna score at one inch right here one and one and a quarter okay now see this is push in so this is going to go on the outside and it will not crack. So just remember that the side that it's push in here go on the outside. You're pushing it out. It's just the reverse of what we would think, right? Now we're going to stamp this here. I'm using a Memento Black Ink. So we're going to stamp this right up. I need a scrap paper maybe, and I don't have one here. Hmm, I need one. Here we go. Because I want to start right in this, about the center. And then I'm going to keep on going. So that way it's going to be off pretty much per, the right proportion on each side. See? Okay, that is done. Whoops. Now we want to emboss that. And it is too long for one emboss. So let me share with you how I done this. Got the big shot here. Then you can see I put the camera plenty eye this morning. I'm using the subtle uh, embossing folder and that really makes like a good binding. It looks like one of those book binding. I don't know how much you can see. And you can see the paper here, how shiny. It is very a pretty paper. 
So now you're going to take this, fold it in two. You see, we get the score there, but don't worry about that. Push it right to the end there. About, it's almost at the end. You don't need no plate at the bottom. You don't need the extension neither. So it's just the platform, because this is the dynamic uh, embossing folder. Put that in. Make sure it don't pass on the side, because if it pass on the side, you're going to chew up the side of your embossing folder. Roll this, and don't make it go below. Roll it back, because if you wait to, to go at the edge, it's going to make a line. Now take this. Even if it don't match perfectly, it's just a little line. It's okay. I'm going to put that right there. And again, you're going to roll this. And not all the way to the end. Stop before we go down. Roll it back. Let's make sure I get all the length. And I did. See? Voila. Because what happened if you roll past the edge there, this is going to leave a big impression aligned. Because your paper is longer. So that's one of the tips for this. Now, I like, personally, I like to put my notepad first before I put the binding. Now, I don't, here, I get another one right here. So, I'm going to put the glue, and see this binding, it's past here. That was a malfunction of whoever put the this together. That's okay. Take this. I just don't like this. It looks kind of funny. Here we go. Just cut that flush if it happens. Now you're going to take Tombow glue. Get a spick and span brand new Tombow glue here. And I like Tombow glue for this because if you have to move it, you get the chance to move it before it dry. Don't be afraid to put plenty of the glue so it stays nicely there. Make sure you don't put too much on the side that it Who's on the side though? Here we go. Now let's try to turn this around without my finger in the glue. Now you're going to go right, oh, just the, the corner of the, the corner of this is going to match right there and the corner there match right there. Let's see if this is correct. That is correct. So now put plenty of pressure on it. And you see, I got that uh, crack there, but that's when I said don't worry about it because we're going to put a binding. But this will not happen, the crack will not happen if you score the side that you want inside facing up. Now, we're going to take the just a note. And again, you want to put... And this, because it's embossed, you want to put, be very generous on your glue. And the way that it's embossed, it's kind of, it don't take, um, the glue don't go, stay good on the paper. Put it that way. So you want to put plenty so it go in the, the crease. And this one, though, I want to make sure that I get plenty of glue at the top. That's where it, you know, it pull. And all on the side. Now I'm going to take this, put it right here, then I can slide it up and down to match it perfectly. That's the beauty of a tumble. You get the chance to move it or remove it before it bond together. See how simple this was? Now, to do our enclosure, I use the same paper because, you know, when you cut the 12 by 12, you get all the extra piece. So I cut with the everyday label. I cut one and a half in the white, and then I cut um, one and a quarter circle. I'm going to put this this way. First, though, let me share with you what I do with uh, my everyday label. I want this to be the side. So I just want to roll it up. And I try one score and it seemed I was scoring always not just right. So this for me worked better. Now, I'm going to use 
tumble and put it about here F not quite F let me rephrase that not quite F now I'm going to take this the side where I want it whoops okay this you have to wait a little bit till it bond there now open this up and I just push it against this close this and then just close there I ran for so that way I don't have to worry if it's just right to score I score it as I go put it that way now we're going to take this you know what no I want the flower on the top and we're going to put that right here now this one though oh, let's move that in the center this one I want to use glue dots not dimensional dimensional make it too loose too uh, up you're just going to put it on the left side so I'm going to use two three oh I can add one more there mm, I'm afraid that's and you're going to put that right here et voila so you get your enclosure boom and then this slide just right in here it is done my friend that's simple so you can do that with any note uh, pad and this is a regular size notepad I bet you're going to ask me what is that size well let's measure so uh, this measure eight so I bet that um, on the pack it's going to be uh, eight by five all the measurement for this is going to be on my blog at frenchystamps.com right above in the eye or below in the description you're going to have the link to go directly to my blog this is it my friend for today hope you enjoyed this till next time happy stamping bye bye for now